Cranking out math, board still wet, and my appetite is wet for another example. What are we trying to do? We're trying to fill out a table of values. Why? Because it's going to help us graph later. Okay, and there may be some other applications, but they give me the equation 2x plus 3y is 12, and then they give me the table of values. Normally you have the freedom of choice and you can choose anything you want, but right now they've made that choice for you. They give you x is 0, y is 0, and y is 8. That's great. Let's go ahead and let's find the correspondence relationship. We want to know the y value that goes when x is 0. So we're going to go and we're going to do that. We're going to let x equal 0. And we're going to plug it in, plug it in. It's going to make the whole room smell fresh. Yes. What's my new x? I heard 0 is the new x. Uh-huh. Plus 3. Y is 12. Oh, zero's the killer, and then I have three, y is 12, and then finish him. Divide. What you do on the one side, you must also do on the other. I divide the left side by three, I divide the right side by three, and y turns out to be for sure. So that's a correspondence relationship. Me and my math got this relationship. I love it so bad, but my math treat me like... My next example is when, whoa, I got in front of it. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. Y is zero. Why? Because they asked us, what's the corresponding x when y is zero? Now what do I do? I go through and I put y where? I put y there. I put zero right there. So then, separational flower, 2x plus 3 times. What's my new zero? I heard, I heard, y is the new zero. Oh, and then, that's 12. Zero's the killer, very nice points. And I'll make mention of that in a moment if I don't forget. So then, not a four, a two. X is equal to 12. Finish him. So then, I divide this side by 2, I divide that side by 2, and I have x is equal to 6. Very nice. So when y is 0, x is 6, and here's that part I meant to mention. What are we doing when you let x be 0 and solve for y? That's which intercept? That's the y-intercept. And when you let y be 0 and solve for x, which intercept is that? That's the x-intercept. So, those are nice values. Y, bam, divide by, you got 4. Bam, divide by, you got 6. Sick! But what about this next example? They gave me, they weren't looking for the x and y-intercepts in this tabula rasa. No. Tablet. That other one would have been what? A blank slate? So let's clear our mind and go for that next example. Yes. We're talking about what happens when y is equal to 8. Great. I'm going to plug it in, plug it in. This time, y is not not. Y is whole. Haha. -ha. What did 8 say to 0? Nice belt. All right. Sure. Come on, champ. Let's get this. So then, this is 2x plus 24. Is that right? 8 times 3. Uh huh. 12. Now it's an exercise in linear equations. Oh boy. So then I subtract off the 12 plus times 2, which is 24. I subtract the 24 off both sides. Oh man, flash back into the future. That's what I thought I had seen. Come on, Marty. Get in that car. Um, Finish him. Back to the future reference? Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, oh! Wait a minute. Min yeah, minus 6 is up in it. So, what's my correspondent relationship? This says x is... Minus 6 when y was... 8? Great. That's my point. And what's my point? My point is, you have just created a collection of points. 
and it may behoove you to do this if you're graphing by plotting points.